if you are an odogu silencer if you have the money if you have the millions and you wish to invest or expand your business into canada <music> beautiful people i'm back again my name is wolo i am an rcic based in manitoba canada if this is the first time you're seeing this video i would say welcome to this channel and subscribe and also give me the thumbs up or hit the like button for my old subscribers a very big thank you to all of you for coming back to watch my videos that i have started uploading on this channel okay so today's video is based on um the last video I did is a reaction to a comment I saw on that video and the comment said there is no age limit to immigration and I said I was going to talk about it today. So there are immigration pathways that has no age limit and there are also immigration options that has no age limit and I'm going to be mentioning them one by one and if you feel you are capable of any of these ones you can actually um, apply under these pathways and immigrate to Canada. The first pathway is the business immigration pathway. For the business immigration pathway, there is no age limit. What they need from you is just your money. And if you are an Odogu silencer, if you have the money, if you have the millions and you wish to invest or expand your business into Canada, you can actually immigrate under the business immigration pathway. Under the federal category, you have the startup visa card pathway. And then under the provincial immigration category, you have different provinces with their um, different uh, business immigration options. Even for Quebec, if you have $1.2 million, you can actually immigrate to Quebec. You get a permanent residency visa um, or permanent residency status. They will use your $1.2 million to invest in Quebec for five years. After five years, they return your, your money back to you. So this kind of immigration is for the Odogu silencers. <laughs> yes, for the Jinjin -jin people <laughs> who have money to just give the Quebec government $1.2 million and then they get a permanent residency status. But it has to be clean money anyway. So if you're interested in this pathway, please let me know. Although I'm not licensed to give advice for Quebec, but I'm just giving you this information. So that is it for business immigration. That's number one. It doesn't have an age limit. If you're, if you're 100 years, if you're 200 years, if you're 50 years, you can immigrate. It has no age limit. The second option is the caregiver pathway. Now, the caregiver pathway has no age limit and has nothing to do with points. The only thing you need is actually getting a job offer and then applying under the caregiver pathway. I, I did a video where I said that the pathway will expire in June. They will announce a new pathway or they might not announce a new pathway. So the caregiver pathway has no age limit. The third option is the agri-pilot pathway. The agri-pilot pathway, I think, also does not have any age limit. Um, yeah, if you're an agricultural person, you come to Canada, work for one year, you have the experience, you apply for a permanent residency under this pathway, it has no age limit as well. The other ones are options, they are not immigration pathways. Remember, I said three pathways, the business immigration pathway, the caregiver pathway, and the agri-pilot pathway has no age limit requirement, but there are other options that also do not have age limit requirements and they are not immigration pathways. Now, the other options are the spousal sponsorship or parents and grandparents sponsorship or child sponsorship. So if you have a Canadian who marries a non-Canadian or a, a foreign national, the person can sponsor you. There is no age limit to that. Um, if you're a Canadian citizen, you can sponsor your parents. There is no age limit for that pathway. If you're a Canadian citizen, you can sponsor your child there is no your child or your adopted child there is no age limit for this particular pathway that's option one option two is the humanitarian and compassionate ground now this particular option is more or less like the last resort of all types of immigration if you've exhausted all types of immigration options and you don't have any option this is the very very last option and it's very limited because the requirements to get this to get a PRO status through the humanitarian and compassionate ground is quite stringent. You have to show proof of, please forgive the noise on the background. Um, you have to show a lot of proof and reasons why the Canadian government should um, be compassionate concerning your application before they give you a PRO status. So that's the second option. The third option is for asylum and refugee claimants. Now, asylum and refugee claimants do not have an age limit to becoming a permanent resident. It's just that 
it's quite um you have to you need to have tangible reasons you cannot claim asylum from outside canada you have to be in canada to be able to claim asylum then for refugee you have to be in a refugee camp or your country should be at war in such situations then you cannot apply for refugee apply to the united nations um, i don't have the full name on my head but i'll put it in the screen you have to apply to them they will now ask you which country you want to choose to get a refugee status if you choose canada they will not apply to canada canada will take their time to process and then bring you in as a refugee so these are the options that do not have any age limit to immigration the other ones i mean they have age limits and sadly not everybody qualifies for these particular pathways i talked about um, if you feel that you qualify for the business route fine you can attempt that if you feel you qualify for the spousal sponsorship or parents and grandparents sponsorship in fact, it's even a good thing for people who are finding it difficult to immigrate. If you have a child, you can send your child to come and school in Canada. I've talked about this before. Send your child to come and school in Canada. Once your child gets their PR status, they can then sponsor you to become a permanent resident after living in Canada for three years as a permanent resident and then meeting a certain income threshold. They will sponsor you to become a permanent resident. So this is the video I said I was going to share today and um, I hope you learned one or two things from this information that I've shared that you can use for yourself. You can do more independent research but if you need clarity, serious clarity, one-on-one -on -one session then you can book a consultation on my website. I am planning to also do a kind of a summary of all the immigration pathways which I will share to people for free and if you're interested you can fill the form that I'll be leaving in the description box and then there will be also another product which is more like a digital product that will have both the summary and the details on if you if you are eligible for such pathway so you don't waste your time running around the internet and asking yourself if you're actually eligible for any immigration pathway to Canada um, if you're also interested in the detailed one, of course, it's not going to come for free because I'm going to spend time to really break things down. If you're interested in the detailed one, also fill the form that I'll be leaving in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Please bear with me. This period is going to be hectic for me, especially this month. Um, but I, I pray that I am consistent. Anyhow, I will be consistent. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.